Okay, good morning. Uh, I got I got a real microphone. I'm like a year, I don't know, and quarter or something into the channel, and gee whiz, I found maybe a real microphone. Uh, by the way, my microphone has a name. His name is John Boyega, named after an actor, a young and up-and-coming actor, in my opinion. He played a stormtrooper in his first kind of breakout role, and uh, uh, this thing looks like a little stormtrooper, and the name of the microphone is Boya or something. It's similar to Boyega, so this is John Boyega. So, anyways, there we are. That's how my mind works. I've got all kinds of problems, apparently. Um, sun's just coming up over the tree, so before it gets hot, I got nice light. I thought I'd make a little movie, or movie, a video, um, uh, and talk about building <laughs> what I'm, I'm doing what I always suggest you should never do, uh, which, which, which is uh, build a house on land you don't own. Uh, with someone you barely know. Nah, it's not true. I'm joking. I, I know Fawn quite well at this point. Um, I've known her for um, a couple years, and we've dated exclusively for a year and a half. Something. Oh, whatever. Um, <coughs> you get the idea. Um, but I know her family. I know all her all her closest friends, and she knows my my best friends. And, and there are some people that I actually do trust here. Few few but there are some and they all totally approve of fun and think she's awesome and she's what she claims to be and all and not not anything against her just but that's what you want to do before you do what i'm about to do or i've started already started to do um uh no without any further ado uh so yeah, it's just 200 yards that way um i'm at the the extreme one end of Fawn's family compound, they have, I don't know what the heck it is, It's it's got to be a, it's not quite half a kilometer long of land, but it's a good hunk, and at the extreme other end, you know, three, four hundred yards to the other tip, um, is, is her vacant piece that we're starting to build on. Uh, by that I mean, um, I, I took last year, and I spent, I don't know, three thousand dollars us over the entire year not even that much less than that two thousand i think it was and i filled in the land and had it graded and and then her parents cleared it did all the labor for free that's but you know not a gift to me that's their daughter's land so i i don't really go out of my way bending over backwards to thank them because i feel like an idiot you know oh thank you thank you for you know clearing your daughter's land you know why, why would i do that? it makes me look like an idiot i think and i don't need any help i can i can do that on my own so um Anyway, so we did that, and now we're into kind of, I'll call this year two, the start of sort of year two of this, and I've started the wall construction, which you'll see. I kind of cringe to put this next piece of video in, but it's pretty, it's, it's pretty accurate. It's very accurate, obviously, but I'm unshaven and in a muscle shirt. I was literally riding my bike by. The sun was at a good angle. There uh, wasn't too many people there on the site doing much. It was quiet, and I thought, oh, this is an opportunity. I'll just grab it, and I just quickly shot about five minutes of video walking everybody through the property. Um, I'll put a drawing or a map, or I'll insert something in here to give you a little lay of the land. Uh, I think before I put that clip in would be smart, um, so you can kind of picture it. Um, and, I, and I give my reasons for why I'm doing what I'm doing there. Uh, uh, but then this is more on the financial end. So financially, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just going very slow, as I've always said I would. Um, I would like to have the house, and the house is basically set up for rehab and fitness. The design that I've put together and the design that I'm starting to execute, which is all up to me as the man in the relationship in Nissan culture, um, you know, she just wants certain things to accommodate her boys at some point down the road and that. And I've said, it's great, those come with rules. And and I've talked with my good friends about that and it's a whole other conversation, but I'm, I'm, I feel good on that as well. And again, I don't mind helping other people, just not at my great expense. Not at their benefit to my deficit. I, I don't, I did that before. I don't do that anymore. I really don't. Um, and then everything is again still within my portable mindset. Um, nothing is an in investment. Everything is coming out of income for me. Nothing is pulling out of any savings. I'm not doing that. And emotionally and financially, I could walk at any point and say, you know, you got problems. That's good for you. You go work on your problems. I'll go enjoy the rest of my retirement. Uh, uh, nothing against anybody in my life at this point. Nothing against, you know, you know, my, I'm going to call her my fiance at this point and such like that. But. Uh, you, 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 you're in a foreign country, you're, over, you're overseas, you only know so many people, so many bad things happen to so many guys. Oh my gosh, the stories I get just constantly, it's like, it's, it's like, 
an iceberg. The more the deeper underwater, I keep looking, the further down this damn thing goes. Um, it, it's just, it's, it can be really bad here. So you really do want to be careful. I'm being probably overly cautious, but I'd rather be overly cautious than be one of the guys that I know here that's been just steamrolled. Because um, that's really ugly in, in a foreign, in a poor, in a poorer foreign country. That's ugly to those guys get stuck here and they can't even return home. I just not doing it. Anyway, so uh, yeah, she's got about 1.5 rye of land, rye or rye, however you want to say it. It's fine. You can look it up, but that's equivalent to so many square feet. And there's all those all those conversions are on Google. You can look it up. Um, you see the wall is pretty substantial. I talk about reasons why. And I'm just going slow. Kun, now here, here, here's some good cultural tests though. Kun Pa volunteers. Um, he works all, again, it, it's his daughter's land, but I'm, I don't pay him. I don't pay him to work on his daughter's land, you know. Um, and I'm making no effort to own the land. Uh, none. Uh, the land's unsaleable. We're not in, if, unless you're in a prime tourist area, and I mean prime the, the land here is virtually unsaleable. There's, I talk about this at length in my book, so I'm not going to like repeat everything in there. But I mean, it, 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 it it's it, you can you can ask anybody around in Thailand. It's been here a long time. It, it just doesn't happen. You know, it just absolutely doesn't happen. And so that land would only be used by members of her family for all eternity until they're all gone or something. So there's there's no opportunity to ever sell it. So why would I spend my time, my emotion? Uh, make many of my days a downer, a work day versus a retirement day, spend money, because the money will all come out of my pocket, obviously, uh, to pay for a lawyer and all that and get this all, have my, my use fruct or my, my land lease. And a lot of those things don't hold up like you think they would. Now, I know legally, technically, and please, I don't want to have the professional arguers in the channel. I've got very few. i got awesome viewers. Let's just keep it that way. And those things are real, legit mechanisms, and they can work, and they do work. They also don't work a lot. And that's a whole other series of videos on why and what goes on. But there's all kinds of reasons why uh, the land lease, real quick, well, land lease is one of the, maybe some people say, one of the best and safest ways because it's a lease. you got a lease agreement. But you have to have shown a record of having paid a market fair real rent every month on that land for the time you had it. So, and if you don't, oh, now it's a fake agreement, right? It's just you and your girlfriend, wink, wink, nod, nod. Yeah, the court's going to go, no. Or can. They can. I mean, a judge can, you know, it's a judge. He can decide one way or the other. And I'm going to give you a hint. The other people in the court are all Thai, and you're not. And, and, and not that they're not fair. They're pretty fair. They're, they're pretty fair. They're even maybe very fair a lot of the times I hear. You know, if a girl scams a foreigner and he can show some receipts and stuff, the court will decide against the scammer, and that woman will go to jail. Um, I've heard of that. I've heard of that several times. I believe that's true. Okay. So, I mean, it's not like an unfair system here, but there is some tailwind and you're not in it. That's an example. All the mechanisms have those types of flaws, potentially, and worse. And I don't want to get into all that. But so, but so I've just decided to just go with it, jump out of the plane, and maybe think about getting a parachute later, maybe. I'm not sure. And, and that's fine. But again, my, my security was not risking money that was critical to me. I think that's the best security there is. I had a, uh, a good friend of mine ended up consulting for, I talk about it again in my book, and uh, his best security was he didn't share secrets with people. It was fantastic security. Some of his special suppliers and, and, and secret sauce stuff, I, I was his uh, head technical person, and I, I, I had no clue on most of it, you know, and which is fine. I didn't need it. I didn't need his stuff. I had my stuff. But, I mean, it was good security. You can have air gap or whatever you want, or you can just not tell anybody. You know, and here I'm just, you can, you can secure your money all you want. You could just not risk any money that you don't care about. Only risk money you don't care about is what I meant to say. Did I say that wrong? Anyway, so uh, that's that. You'll see the walls about, mm, I'm going to call it roughly a third built. The land is 90% graded. Um, it's a really pretty piece. It is very nice. It's a very nice, I like it. Um, I like it a lot. Um, and I'm probably, including all the stuff last year and this year so far, probably 4,000 U.S. into the whole, whole enchilada. I'll bet you I'm um, 6,000 into the whole thing before the wall is completed. 200,000 baht, 6,000 U.S. And that'll have taken me two years to do. And I'm pausing. I'm pausing for about a year. It's going to sit there for about a year when Kun Pa has some time and his mom and Fawn and any friends wants to come over and have a paint party. I'll buy some paint and they can paint the wall, prime it and paint it. 
That's up to them if they want to, if they don't want to sit, sit bare concrete. I don't care. Bare concrete wall can sit there for one or two years while I, I gather up my finances again and I got to plan the house out. Um, <clears throat> Fawn did ask pretty insistently for one thing which I thought was fair. I flipped the house plan which would put her future uh, one boy's room on the other side of the house. Uh, she just really had a strong preference for that and I thought about it. But, you know that's okay. And actually the house lays out better that way. So uh, on the land. Uh, the, the you got to go with the flow here, and they did, they didn't fill it the way I wanted. They 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 graded it sort of. They filled it and graded it 65% as accurately as to what I wanted, and then you got to work with it. Or I could argue and yell and scream, and and and, and uh, I was talking with a friend recently, and he was he had a poor attitude, and and it made me think I'm going to distance myself from that guy in the future, unfortunately. But and then talk about how dumb everybody is, or how you know whatever. What does that get me? And is that true? I doubt it. You know, I'm just going to go with it. You're, I, 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 I went all this way to immerse in a different culture. Apparently, this is what it's like. I'm just going to go with it. Why, why should I get upset and, 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 and downgrade my retirement over which dirt is high or where? I'll just move the house around a little bit. And it's actually some of the design that's kind of shaking up from the changes is positive that I wouldn't have thought of. I, I honestly, I kind of like the changes. So just got to make lemonade. I got, I got lemonade for days. You know, that's, that's going to be an upcoming video. Now it's, uh, this upcoming March, uh, it's going to be four years from first thought of, oh dang, my marriage isn't working. I don't think it's fixable, which I should have realized. I'm just too optimistic sometimes. Should have realized a long time ago. That's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, to now here I am. I mean, I'm building the house. Four years from idea to foundation. There you go. Isn't that something? Anyways, I'll, I'll cut the video in and I'll comment a lot. And before that, let me make up some kind of plan or drawing and I'll show you guys that too, okay? Uh, good morning. Uh, thanks. The channels, the Google algorithm once in a while opens the tap of hair and all of a sudden I'm picking up double the subscribers as normal. The views are all way bigger and uh, maybe I'm passing muster somehow, some algorithm somewhere. Anyway, so, but thank you to all the viewers. You guys are what make the channel, so thanks. Okay, uh, so here's the, the sketch I did. Um, you can see in the uh, straight lines on the left and top edge, that's the property border, which I crudely drew in red with my finger on the photo. And then I circled in the bottom in blue the uh, main entry gate for a car to drive through. And then that arrow just above there is the, the circles around counterclockwise. That's like your parking path, how you drive in and park. Um, Starting at the top left corner is, that's the back of the house. Uh, that'll be the, the kitchen. You see a bathroom in there if you look closely. The next room working towards the bottom of the picture going forward through the house is the bedroom. The next room forward is the, uh, like the playroom, living room. They call it a playroom, Honglen playroom, but it's a living room. And then in the front, that, that uh, diagonal hash mark stuff, that's the big shade structure. So it's a big covered front porch and a huge covered front porch wing to the right, which would cover about half of a future four by 10 meter lap pool for me and my bad back. That's something I may add down the road again out of income as mood and finances allow and as things continue to go well for me. If not, I'm not putting the pool in. So that, that's sort of the, the general use of it. And then the front of the whole house will be just a l very level ground, maybe concreted, maybe artificial grass just a really nice groomed area for level walking and, and some, some martial arts technical training and such. And this is all set up around big shade structures for, for martial arts practice, stretching, yoga mats, things of that kind of a nature around my lifestyle. Okay, I'm standing on my, right around my future front porch here. I'm a porch monkey kind of guy, I think. A little bit, I like to chill at house, at home. I'm no matter how much fun I've had anywhere else, it's always like you get that little feeling of, oh, it's nice to be home. I'm just one of those people. Anyways, there's the sunrise coming up over the trees, which I've kind of planned to be in line with that view. Well, there's Kun Ba, Fawn's aunt, uh, who, uh, it's kind of funny how things come full circle. I had a run-in with her early on in my, my time in Thailand, and we sorted some shit out, and it's all been good ever since. And that's been two, I've had it out with two relatives, and... I mean, I felt pushed. I mean, one, I was grossly insulted right in front of my face and tie, but I knew what they said, and I'm like, hey, 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 ain't freaking flying. And then uh, the other, you know, whatever. Sometimes you got to push back, apparently. And then this is the wall that uh, I've had built uh, kind of on a more express basis. 
a little quicker first so she could get her feeling of security back by having a wall and then we transition this is a less expensive wall this is the square posts i, I did pay for the bigger it's more expensive that's in earlier in the video one row the uh, iknung chan one row higher taller and uh that goes around that that's now that's where the the the, the main entryway is going to be right there that'll be where you drive in the gate you drive in through and then you can see more posts in the back and then we're all the way to the corner and praise god i was gone all day while they set those columns but as they got to the corner they set them back further which i really appreciate because it's a lot I'm not going to name any names, but other people near us that should know better put their columns way out into the corner. It makes it awkward for every freaking person to drive by every day, but they're showing everybody how big their land is. It's like, how insecure can you be? Apparently, the answer is fairly insecure. Anyway, so then, now we got to go along this back here, and that'll be the... Probably same height again, probably the same taller wall again. And I'm going to fill in with orange metal panels between the posts. So the tie wall design, you can look it up, but you have a base wall height and the columns are taller. And then in the middle is typically like an ornate steel, like a guard, like a, like a guard screen door you'd get in like an inner city in, in Michigan, in, in Michigan or in the U.S. or something. Um, and I'm going to have that probably be a decorative, but it's, it's basically a guard thing, a security screen door, whatever you want to call it. And then in the back, I'm just going to have solid metal panels um painted orange so that when the sunrise comes up it reflects off the orange panels in the back it's like living in a sunrise it sounds weird it's going to be cool in practice i haven't seen that literally done before but i've seen other paint effects done that I i'm confident it'll work and i'll like it so that's that uh and then uh this is the elevated platform you can see and i haven't sorry you know, i said i was going to class up my channel more and here i am and i was riding my bike i thought yeah, i'll just shoot some video because the sun's nice but this is the elevated platform where all the buildings and the construction will all be here. And then this in the front, it's kind of a front yard. It'll be smoothed out even more and maybe a thin, you know, inch and a half of concrete with some artificial grass on it or something. Just as like a, a level area for some martial arts practice some pattern work and stretching and stuff like that, like a yard, so to speak. And then over there, I'll, I'll smooth all this land out with a couple more loads of like higher end, really fine, finely graded, finely screened dirt. Uh, sand not dirt sand and then smooth this all out and then down there we'll do eventually like fruit trees and stuff like that or whatever just have some fruit trees around why not you know and uh, that's that's it that's about a rye and a half um, I went with a taller wall <sighs> one um, legitimate security intimidation we're at the end of Fawn's land all her relatives live you know side by side by side by side and this is the last the prettiest and biggest and last piece but we're the end of the line here and uh you know and i'm the falang so uh if someone's going to steal they're going to they're going to want to steal from me because i've got more stuff and and it's i think it's less culturally negative for them to steal from the foreigner and then i'm um, at the end i'm the most isolated so i'm a a bit of a chicken waiting for it to be plucked so a little bit more intimidating wall uh, there'll be some barbed wire at the top for sure, some spikes. And then this is where you got to do it. And and uh, but the best security I have is at her aunt next door and the f family behind me. So that, that's my best security. That's just a quick overview of the thing. This has been this is week three, prepping the land, filling the land, doing the wall, everything. The wall itself is probably two grand, and the land is filling the land. Over the last year, it's been three. So last year, three grand filling the land. This year, two grand on the wall, roughly so far to give you a little flavor of the scale of the wall and, and the entrance here's the wall to the left there's the wall to the right and then in the earlier process and this would be the main entrance there's this double stakes here and here for where the columns would be inside it's going to be kind of a funnel shaped a squared off funnel uh, entry wall your car's got to have room to turn but anyway give you a scale of the height of the wall i'm going to ride by it oh, there we go oh. There, I'm up on a very tall bike, and you can see these, I don't know, these things are probably eight and a half feet tall, something like that. It's a pretty significant uh, column height, and the metal will go to the top of the columns. So, all right, on to my ride. Sorry for the muscle shirt and the no shave and no combing of hair, just a little on the scene there. Hey, bud, here's a little video I'll shoot for you. So, there's the rice fields, and that's the sunrise comes up to the east there. It's very pretty over the rice fields every morning. Here's some concrete posts I bought for like $200. It was crazy. I'm going to make a barbed wire fence across here for Fawn's aunt. Um, she's scared because that her, fence is, her fence line's broken now. This is Fawn's land, and uh, I paid 1000 US and had it prepped with a whole bunch of machinery and labor. 
um, you know, worked out pretty well. It's very pretty. Sadly, I got to cut that tree down. It's just, there's a hole. I tried to save it, but it's just un, unsavable. Anyway, so uh, I'll uh, slowly start uh, grooming the land, putting the fence up uh, section by section. We'll do this one, and then in a month or two, I'm going to do a fence along the back, and then a, 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 a fence and a gate, you know, for like a driveway in the future in the front. And that's, uh, that'll probably take me through the whole winter just to kind of putz on that. Uh, I've waited kind of a couple of years, dated a couple of ladies, but fun's working out really well for me. And uh, I'm going to build like a tiny house on here really cheap, but it's a pretty piece of land. It's got a nice breeze on it all the time. It's really nice. My name is Rob, and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I meant every word I just said with respect.